Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin, and I'm excited to be back with you this week for another plein air painting adventure. This week, things have changed. That late summer humidity has left the air. We have great temperatures now. The ragweed pollen has dispersed into the air, and I no longer am feeling terrible allergies. We have this really crisp and beautiful quality of light this evening, and you can see behind me, I have this really cool barn to work from. The reason that that barn has that little add-on shed with that little stilt is because back in the days of horse-drawn wagons, they would pull a wagon of hay into the barn, and then the horses would stand there while the people unloaded it. I was a person who had to unload hay into a barn when I was younger. Um, but the horses would have a place to stand while the people were unloading the hay into the barn. So that's the reason for that little addition onto that barn. There's an interesting arrangement of shapes. Mother Nature might give us a run for our money. It looks like there's clouds rolling in, but let's just enjoy this evening. Let's take it as it comes. Let's do some landscape painting. Hey, welcome back. This is day two. I know that I kind of didn't film an outro to the session last night. My bad. The, one of the neighbors came over and we got to talking and we were talking and talking and we talked so much that the GoPro ran out of space on the memory card so I didn't get to film an outro last night. Let's take a look at these paintings before we get started today. This is the first one that I'm working on. Kind of a nice arrangement of shapes. And then here's the second one, and I love the loose quality that I was able to find as I became even more warmed up and the light became even more great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things set up. I'm really interested in capturing those last rays of beautiful golden light. And the atmosphere is so crisp and clear on this early autumn evening that I think we're really in for a nice display of light. I'm gonna remind myself to continue to work as a designer and make good decisions. In today's session, it's all about loading a ton of color into these paintings and of course, having a lot of fun. Birds are chirping. What a great place I have to stand right now. It's just perfect out, the mosquitoes are not out. There's just nothing terrible going on right now.
That light went so quick. I couldn't even believe it. I don't know if I've ever seen light move so quickly. It's like there was light on the ground and then all of a sudden there was just that triangle of light on that barn right there. And now you can see everything in the background is almost out of the light as well. That's okay, I kinda, I chased it down, I got it placed. All I have to do now is paint everything else just how it is. And I still captured that little piece of light. That was a very quick moving golden hour, but very beautiful as well. Well, here's where I ended up. Again, that light moved so quickly. I did my best to capture that light. I mixed it on the palette and I put it up. As soon as I saw it and mixed it, it was gone. It was a nice evening of painting out here. The neighbor who I talked to last night, she actually knew my dad. In fact, her husband used to haul my dad's milk. And she said that he was, um, a really good friend to them. I know that they had lent equipment to each other or something like that. She said the thing that she remembers about meeting my dad was that she and her husband had moved here. She was originally from Illinois and I think she said he was from Iowa. And she said that unlike a lot of other people around here, they weren't, my dad wasn't like, who are you and who are you related to and what farm? It, it was, my dad just said, hey, how you doing? He wanted to, get to know him and just kind of treated him like a person. I think that's some one thing that I did pick up from my dad. You know, my dad was a very charismatic person and people tell me that I remind them a lot of him as well. But I think it's important that, you know, people are the things that matter. I, I never want to be hard on people and I just want to inspire through fun and inspire through painting the light. It's cool to meet the neighbors when you go out plein air painting. You're gonna meet everybody. I think that for myself, that's a wonderful thing because I get to kind of keep my dad's memory alive through these stories that, that I hear out here when I'm out painting in the field. I think I did capture something of that light this evening. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited about the painting. There's a great quality of warm and cool on that old barn, uh, green and red. It's not just for Christmas anymore. I have to go to school tomorrow and it's getting kind of late. I have to pack my lunch. I have to lay my clothes out and get everything ready. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.